Guys, guys, guys. Boy, do I have a story time. Oh my God. Getting home? <laughs> guys, it took me 40, 40 hours to get home. Let that sink in. Something that was supposed to be an hour and a half flight, 40 hours. So let me tell y'all why I'm, why I'm probably never traveling with Delta, like again, outside of like an international flight. Cause I hear their international flights are really good. Um, or whether, or like just some wild price difference. But like, as of right now, Delta has 100% lost me as a customer. First and foremost, I don't fly Delta a lot. I'm a JetBlue and a United girl because they leave from Newark. And I, that's my, you know, that's my local airport. So I've been trying to use a Delta credit that I've had now for like six months. Tried to use it to go to Denver. That was when the whole, um, you know, Microsoft fiasco happened. Cool. All right. You cancel that flight. I kind of, I understand. Fast forward 30 days um, to 48 hours ago. I get a text from Delta saying, hey, your flight Monday morning is most likely going to be delayed or canceled due to inclement weather. Do you want to change your flight? Now that flight would have been 15 minutes from my grandmother's house, a connecting in Atlanta, getting me home Monday by like 10, 30, 11 o'clock or like 10. Cool. Yes, it's a longer flight overall travel time, but I don't have to drive the two and a half hours to RDU, which is Raleigh, which is the next like large airport, the, the next closest large airport to where my grandmother lives in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So I call them up. I'm like, yeah, I'll change my flight then. I'm in the airport. I get a little thing, get a little text that says your connecting flight has been canceled. I'm like, ugh, okay. That's annoying, but it's six o'clock. You know, I'm sure I can find another way to get to New York today. I'm not even saying it has to be Newark, just the New York metropolitan area. I'm sure there's a way at six o'clock I can get to New York today. Why then like 30 minutes later, do you see almost every flight on the board going to New York canceled? Like all the flights, not, not just, not just Delta, but most of them were Delta, but just all the flights canceled. I'm like, bet that's not good news. Um, what's going on now at that point, I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't want to fly to Atlanta and be stuck in Atlanta. Like Atlanta is further away from New York, Atlanta is Delta's hub. So I'm sure they've been canceling flights left and right from Atlanta. I was like, I just like, I don't wanna do that. So I'm like, cool, I'll stay another night. Hopefully they can give me accommodation. I'm sure I can fly out on Monday. I'm sure there's a flight that I can get on on Monday. When I go to speak to a Delta representative, they say the best that we can do for you is a five o'clock flight on Tuesday. This is what they were telling me at 6 p.m. on Sunday, that there were no other options for me but 48 hours later. They were like, we can put you on standby flights, but highly unlikely. Well, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take my luck. Put, put me on that flight on Tuesday, but put me on some standby flights. Long, long story short, I go back to the airport the next day at 6.37 a.m., trying to get on the first flight out, can't get on it. Now, where I became extremely upset is that I was told on Sunday that there was not a single flight that I could be put on the following day. Meanwhile, I watched them offer people thousands of dollars to get off of their Monday flights and rebooked on Monday flights going into New York. So, no, there are seats. There, there are seats and there are flights that I could have just been rebooked on for the following day instead of you telling me that the earliest I could get home is 48 hours 
from a flight that was canceled, right? So by that time, I'm just like, I'm, I'm upset. I've waited, I, I couldn't get on the first flight, couldn't get on the second flight. The third flight that I was waiting for standby was then delayed by three hours, y'all. So at this point, it's 2.30. I'm, I've been in the airport since 6 a.m. Let's not include the five hours I spent in the airport the day prior. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't even, like, I don't want to stay in another hotel. I, I don't want to be here anymore. I, I don't want to be at the airport tomorrow <laughs> for another eight hours. I knew my parents were driving, so I call them. I'm like, bet, I can get in the car with my parents. That'll be seven hours, because I'm already two hours. Two hours kind of ahead of travel. I get in the car with my parents. They pick me up at, I think, 2.45. Our drive. <laughs> <laughs> took from 2.45 to 11.30. <laughs> Seven hours turned into 10 hours. A little bit over 10 hours. Y'all, I'm sorry, no, a little bit over nine hours. Then, <laughs> that was to get to Jackson. I don't live in Jackson. I live in Jersey City. <laughs> So I had to get up this morning and get on another train, another train, another Uber, <coughs> just to make it back home. Y'all, when I tell you I am spent, I saw this thing on TikTok the other day that was like, what are like white phrases and white words that like they just eat? I don't think I've ever said to anyone I'm spent. But when I say <laughs> that is how I feel on this fine Tuesday morning, when I didn't get home, I didn't step foot into my house till 11.15 after traveling for two days. Like, I could have been in Africa. <laughs> like, I could have been in Australia. I could, like, I'm just so, I'm spent. I'm spent. And with that said, and a, and a raging headache at this point. I am going to spend the rest of the day possibly doing absolutely nothing. Um, I probably will go to the gym tonight because at this point I haven't gone to the gym I think in like a whole week. And the gym actually makes me feel better. It makes, sometimes it, make, it really helps with my headaches. But when I tell you that won't happen in, until I take the most glorious nap, I just, yeah. I don't wish what I just experienced for 48 hours on anybody. since we last spoke because the week has been a whirlwind to say the least um it's late. like it's good and bad because i probably wouldn't have been able to do everything that i did this week had i been working and I, it would have had to all wait for the weekend but it's bad because i was supposed to like spend this week like resting and kind of just like having some time to like recoup from the craziness of like my last two months and basically working three jobs and that did not happen so you know long story short <coughs> i've literally had to do something every single day um tuesday is the only day that i kind of just like stayed in the house i think the only thing i did tuesday was go to the gym tuesday night 
Um, and I didn't even do like a real workout. I just honestly went to go into the sauna because I've had this all this week. I've had like a lot of migraines, but um, so yeah, Wednesday morning I woke up. I had to go to an MRI super early. And that didn't help because if you've ever had an MRI, you know, it's basically like sirens in your ear for two hours. My the MRI I had to have was two hours and that kind of just like set the migraine like completely off. So yeah, after that I went and got my nails done, which thankfully because they, they were looking absolutely crazy. But um, went and got my nails done, then had to deal with the whole car fiasco. But thankfully, I ended up getting in touch with everybody on Wednesday. I was able to pick up my car. I unfortunately sat in like two and a half hours of rush hour traffic, so I didn't make the rental car agency, but I had my car, spent the night at my parents' house, Thursday morning, dropped off the rental car, and just kept going. Um, I ended up like going grocery shopping, like a light grocery shop, um, going to the gym. Like I hadn't really honestly done like a real workout in over a week because I think the last time I went to the gym was last week, Tuesday or Wednesday. So it had been like a full week that I had done like a real workout. So that felt actually really, really good. But my period did start Thursday, so kind of cramps hit last night. Kind of cramps. Cramps kind of hit last night, like for real, for real. So yeah, um, today's Friday. I have design calls for the next two hours um and I have a lot of like personal work to do like I have a lot of personal admin stuff to like figure out I made a mistake and I ma I mailed back the wrong return to the rock I, I mailed back the wrong items clothes to the wrong company <laughs> so I need to track down where these clothes are I did my bills on Wednesday um but I also need to call Delta because I'm still trying to get like my refund for my actual flight. That's a whole other story because I had to go back and forth with mad people to get my accommodations covered. Um, and then I looked it up and Delta is going through a lot right now. So I don't even really fly Delta a lot, but I definitely will not be flying Delta for the foreseeable future. But yeah, that's where we are. We're at Friday. I did not have a restful week, unfortunately. to record that call not that I could have actually um, put that call on here anyway but it's 1252 <laughs> um, and I think because I'm actually in the rhythm right now I am gonna probably work for like another hour or two just try to get done the little things that I want to get done I'm listing actually stuff on Poshmark right now um <laughs> and then i think i'm gonna go to the store and buy a covid test actually to make sure i don't have covid prayerfully i don't um then i'm gonna go to the gym pretty sure just gonna get the workout out of the way finish up laundry might meet the girls tonight just for like a little rooftop sesh and then sunday Sunday is just honestly get ready for the work week. I, I even hate that I'm saying that. Y'all, I cannot wait until, <laughs> I cannot wait until I don't work in corporate America anymore. And I know like working for yourself is hard. That I'm not even trying to like paint this picture that like entrepreneurship is gonna be this like walk in the park. I know it's probably gonna be the hardest I've ever worked in my life, but at this point, I've done a lot of hard work for other people. And uh, that era is done. It's done. But let me finish the stuff that I'm doing because your girl's in a groove. Oh, let me actually go show you guys my little Mew Mew. These are not Mew Mew, actually. My little Alaya dupes. Uh, I don't know why I said Mew Mew. I think Mew Mew has, a, every, everybody has a pair at this point. I got these from Cider. These cute little Alaya dupes. I am joining the ballet flat trend for the fall. Honestly, I was a ballet flat girl, okay? 
I was in my 20s when ballet flats were very much a thing. So is it even a trend for me? Or am I just re-wearing what I've already done? But yeah, I wanted to join the trend. They're just so cute. I used to love ballet flats, like, and then they really went out of style. Like, the girls were saying, you know, girls who wear ballet flats were old. So, <laughs> I had to stop wearing them. But I am so happy that they are back because I love those and I will be wearing them during the fall. We are going to go back to dressing during the fall. I don't know how many times I've said this in my videos, but I can fit my clothes now. So we will be wearing our clothes and that means that I will look a lot better than I have in the past two years but yeah anyway that's it I'm gonna get back to working It's a Friday. Oh, oh, it's a Friday. No, it's a Friday. I've been on calls basically. Oh, my hair is so flat, y'all. Like, they really don't tell you that, like, it just hits different in your 30s. Like, yo, it just hits different. I've never had thin hair in my entire life. Like, when I've always been thick haired girly. Why is my hair so thin now? Take vitamins, y'all. Start so early on the vitamins, bruh. Like, I was that person who, like, my entire life was like, vitamins, what's that? I should have been taking vitamins. Like, you lose elasticity in your 30s. You lose density in your hair in your 30s. You lose collagen, your eggs. Like, it just, bruh. Like, 30s just hitting different. Anyway, that's not what I got on camera to say. I got on camera to say, we're going to the US Open today. Not officially, but we are really claiming that we're gonna go. It's the men's semifinals, Tiafo is in it. I, so I, I messed up. I should have bought tickets to the women's and the men's semifinals no matter what, like when they dropped over a month ago. But obviously you don't know who's gonna make it. And I really honestly didn't wanna go if Coco, Ben, or Tiafo didn't make it. Coco and Ben didn't make it, but Tiafo did. The tickets this whole entire week have been in the 300s per ticket, which, no. But, my thought process is that it's 1230, 
day of and there are still thousands of tickets available and as we know in today's like ticket buying culture the majority of those tickets are literally just resellers they're just bots people are going to want to make their money back yes they want to make a profit but people are going to want to make their money back so my assumption is that in the next two hours like between 12 30 and 3 30 prices are going to drop because people just want to sell the ticket that they thought that they were going to make a profit on like because at this point everybody knows who, like we knew who was going to be in the semifinals on monday it's thursday if your ticket hasn't sold at that ridiculous 400 plus price like it's not going to sell you need to drop the price so most people are going to drop prices and that's what i'm really hoping my dad was like yo we could just go to he's in new york he was like we could just go there and see if someone's selling tickets i don't know about that so much <laughs> we'll try it but I'm really just hoping that we get tickets before before we even leave the house. Um, the goal is that he gets here by 4 o'clock, 4.30 the latest. We literally hop in the car and we go straight there because, as you know, traffic. And that's deep. Like, that's going deep into Queens. That's not, like, just shooting into the city. So, yeah. Like, it's honestly probably going to take us, like, two and a half hours to get there. Just saying that out loud is, like, bleh, like... But that's honestly how long it's going to take us to get there. So, yeah. Um, I've been on calls all morning. I definitely still have work to do. But you know when you're kind of like... Do, 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 do. Like, you know when you're kind of just like, eh. I don't really want to sit in front of the community anymore. Like, this week has been a lot of work. Like, a lot, a lot of work. I'm training someone right now. I start training someone else next week. And you just don't realize how dispensing all of the knowledge in your brain to someone else is so draining. Like, so draining. So, it's giving right now, like, mm, I'm gonna go get some lunch. And we'll see what the rest of the afternoon is looking like. Because the rest of the work that I have to do is not, like, people facing. So, I can honestly do it whenever I want. And more than likely, I'm gonna do it on Sunday. Let's, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. So yeah, that's what the plans are for today. I will obviously take you with me if we, not if, when we get to the US Open. And I just wanted to open up the vlog. I think tomorrow I'm gonna do some design stuff. There's a design event happening right now in the city for the past three days, which was like invite only. Um, so I think I'm gonna jump into a couple of galleries tomorrow. Sunday, there is an Elevation Church pop-up that I wanna go to. And yeah, hopefully I can get some time with the girls this weekend. We haven't seen each other in a really long time. So yeah, that's what the weekend plans are. And then obviously next week, you know, back into the grind. <laughs>